Joe Rogan is officially turned into a Karen? I love the system. Why? I can now yeah, but it's, it's not based on reality. It's not, it's not wise. It's not healthy. Well, the Trump's reality... 74, and he's fat, and he kicked it in four days. <laughs> yeah, but I don't give a f what anybody says. What did they... Oh, my God. Is he actually this person? Stop. Oh, come on. He's not one of these dipshits now who, like, unironically believes that, like, COVID is not that big of a deal. Hey, guys, do you want to beat COVID? Well, let me tell you. Have access to the top minds on the planet, okay, get helicoptered into one of the best hospitals on the planet, get your own personal king suite, get round-the-clock care, me get round-the-clock medical way. care, okay? Pervert. Like eight doctors taking care of you and every step of the way, every step of the moment, get pumped full of steroids and experimental drugs are, that aren't currently this available. The Be the only Pervert. person on the planet who has experimental Regeneron monoclonal antibodies while also simultaneously getting dexamethasone, while also simultaneously getting remdesivir, literally the only person on the planet that has all three of those treatments at the same time uh, injected into your body, get flown back into your uh, White House, uh, your expensive system. mansion that people paid for, and Don't guess what? So COVID is just... Down these you can get over it, dude. COVID. You can f get over it, dude. Uh, it's so easy. I mean, come on, Joe. I know you're a f ape. I get it. You're an ape. But goddamn, like, this is next level ape shit, dude. You're literally upset that the virus isn't as deadly as you'd hope. What kind of sick f are you? What's wrong with you? Wait, what? Excuse me. Is that I'm what you sorry. got out of that? I'm out of you brain dead moron. The, the issue with Donald Trump and the way he's handled coronavirus is the misinformation that he is literally telegraphing to the ape brained dipshits like Joe Rogan. You don't just get COVID and get better in three days, and it's not that big of a deal. Especially if you're 74 years old. The only reason why Donald Trump was able to get through it as easily as he did was because of the things that I just mentioned. Because the first thing is a trial drug that hasn't been approved yet. They're not just handing that out. Is that the... That, the first is, thing. That's Remsdivir? No, Rem, that? no that everyone can get that. Remsdivir? Remdesivir. 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 Yeah, but the other thing he got was like the plasma-related right. therapy. You can't get that everywhere? No. Why can't you? Because you're not the president of the United or States. Or maybe the liberal media is trying to keep that from you so that you stay sick so that they can get Biden into the White House. Everything. No, 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 no. He's about that. All right. No, he's being sarcastic. Now, wait right? a second. Hmm. There's no way. He's being sarcastic. There's no way he's joking, dude. I literally <laughs> last night because I literally was like, there is definitely so much confusion because the. That side is ramping up the fear 100%, uh -huh, 100%. making it scarier than it is. So yeah, he's being sarcastic. To be president. And the other side is definitely <laughs> saying from, from Trump on down, don't worry about this thing. So it makes it look like we did a good job and the economy comes back and all that stuff. So I'm like, this cognitive dissonance, like this what is, is real? What I watched perfect. Tucker Carlson, he made sense for a minute. And then oh I... Oh my God, dude, liberals are a burden on this planet dude liberals even well-intentioned liberals are just such a f burden on intel intellectual thought my god dude let's just cancel it all together let's let us legitimately return to monka okay if you find yourself looking at tucker carlson this to make sense of the world my god you are see, so see, 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 lost holy goddamn shit or there was an experimental virus that they were working on in the wuhan what is it level four lab he's like what is he saying what i mean come on dude he doesn't believe any of this all right please stop. How, how many businesses are we going to lose between now and june though it, i think the the um, real the real issue is people putting restrictions on what dog the problem is even when you unshackle the restrictions there's still aid that's necessary there are areas in the country where they've unshackled the restrictions and people still don't want to go to those places partially because they're afraid of getting COVID. because the doctors are right you don't just want to unshackle the businesses what you want is also for the doctors to lie to the poor people so that everyone can run around freely without the fear of getting COVID and potentially dying that's it and for the people who keep saying like sweden libtard sweden libtard Sweden is doing incredibly poorly. They were doing worse than we were until recently when we decided to go balls to the wall and somehow defeat them in the marketplace of COVID. The problem with Sweden is you have to look at Sweden and comparable countries that are next to Sweden. As far as neighboring countries go, Sweden is doing far worse than all of the other neighboring nations.
Sweden was doing even worse than America in deaths per capita. They've recently gotten better. Did you read the study of only 7% of lost sales are due to restrictions? 70% is due to people not having faith in the safety. I mean, I can see that. That's why in so many different places, like when they reopened the economy, it's not like people flooded. People certainly still went out a lot more. They, they went from zero to 3% of activity. That's still a massive leap, right? But the reason why economic activity hasn't recovered all the way to pre-corona levels is because people are understandably afraid. Your argument isn't just like, oh, the restrictions are, uh, the restrictions are causing the economy to crumble. Your arguments are, I hate that scientists are, are accurately telling us to be careful about COVID. Go deep and undercover. they are all Anyone wearing masks, the left or far but their right businesses are open. From a mile yes. away in that and well, that's what we should testing. have had in LA a long time ago. Yes, they're testing. They've got the masks on, distancing. Like I ate in restaurants, but you know, it's yeah. limited capacity. I performed in comedy clubs, half capacity. But here's the thing not just that, because of my comedic draw. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think that that's scientific because there's aerosol. The, the, the virus is carried through the air now. Okay. Anytime someone says this, anytime I hate to do this, okay? I hate to do like the appeal to authority. But anytime start anytime someone starts talking about aerosol particles and like they are not an epidemiologist or like a virologist or something, I, I tune them out. I'm sorry because I know for a fact that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about and you literally are just repeating some idiotic you are repeating what you heard from some chiropractor, okay, that was wearing scrubs, so you thought that that chiropractor was a doctor, and you are absolutely just repeating what that chiropractor said on a YouTube video. Yeah. This has pretty much been confirmed. Yeah. They used to think it carried through droplets, mm -hmm. which is the reason for the whole six-foot social distancing space. Uh -huh. They don't think that's the case anymore. They think it's airborne. Yeah. So if that's the case, all that social distancing stuff is horseshit because it's... Wait... What? July 8th was the last time uh, Nature said there was mounting evidence suggesting coronavirus is airborne, but health advice is not caught up. Does he mean like not fomides? Did he misunderstand? Is he, is he talking about how originally we thought that like particles could stay on, on like steel and shit and therefore you could touch it and then touch your mouth and then get it? Is that what he's, he's mistaking that by saying it's not, he just literally said it's aerosol. So if it's it's not space. droplets. They don't think that's the case anymore. Like, that's not true, dude. He's arguing that droplets means not airborne. Yeah, I, I don't think he understands what he's saying. It's still droplets. That's how it is airborne. And secondly, there's a viral load. Like, the entire purpose of wearing masks is to avoid as many of those particles escaping your mouth and your facial area hitting things that you can touch or hitting you directly or hitting the air because those particles are what carries the the uh the virus Research, japanese supercomputer it? shows how humidity affects the aerosol spread you of coronavirus supercomputer to model the emission and flow of virus like particles yeah bro well wait does this mean <laughs> did they just sneeze on this person or is this when they're talking because <laughs> if you blast someone with a sneeze it's a rip dude <laughs> what the f <laughs> hey, sorry, that I just sneezed right on your face. <laughs> a virus like part Boom! Headshot! People. This is the equivalent of coming on someone's face. He might as well have just bukkakied this person in the face at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like, god damn, dude. All that social distancing stuff is horseshit because it's in the air. But not if you're social distanced and have a mask on. The, I'm telling you, the social distancing thing doesn't mean anything anymore. Gotcha. It, what, what they're oh, Joe Rogan is saying social distancing doesn't mean anymore. It doesn't mean anything anymore. Never mind, dude. It was all a goof. Latest data from the CDC says that still that the principal mode by which people are infected by SARS-CoV-2 is through exposure to respiratory droplets carrying infectious virus. Respiratory droplets are produced during exhalation, breathing, speaking, singing, coughing, sneezing, and a span of wide spectrum of sizes that may be divided into two base categories based on how long they can remain suspended in the air. Larger droplets, some of which are visible and that fall out of the air rapidly within just seconds to minutes while close to the source. Smaller droplets and particles form when small droplets dry very quickly in the airstream that can remain suspended for many minutes to hours and travel far from the source on air currents. This is what they mean when they say airborne transmission possibility. If you have, if you're in an enclosed space, this increases the likelihood that you can get that. If you're in an enclosed space with no ventilation or poor ventilation, rather, 
where humidity is higher, it increases the likelihood that you can get COVID. None of this means that uh, social distancing is bad. Respiratory viruses are transmitted in multiple ways. Drop the transmission. This is one way to try to limit the amount of, uh, limit the transmission by staying uh, six feet away from one another, considering that that's how the droplet transmissions, that's usually on average how far they get carried. Airborne transmission is infection spread through exposure to virus containing respiratory droplets comprised of smaller droplets is usually greater than six feet and over time, typically hours. These modes of transmission are not mutually exclusive. For instance, close contact refers to transmission that can happen by either contact or droplet transmission while a person is within about six feet of an infected person. Aerosol is still small particles, though, that can move through the air. Doesn't that give you more reason to social distance than versus not to? Yes. Unless you have the completely wrong and, and a totally defeatist mentality that like, oh, well, there's no way to like model. avoid the virus. So we might as well just say Fuck it in YOLO. It is pretty much like saying seatbelts are restricting and they don't work 100% of the time. Neither do airbags. So therefore, let's throw it out entirely. It's about reducing the possible amount of harm that you can cause to millions of people. We're learning so much. This is why I like watching Joe Rogan, okay? Because in an effort to clarify some of the things that he is, some of the things that he is saying, and, and to make sure that we counter his misinformation, which millions of people are going to see, you get to learn things that you previously otherwise might not have known. You're so you can be close with a mask, you but you're still in a mask. A lot of these masks have holes in them. Yeah, yeah but, but that's not a good argument. Like, it's a terrible argument. This is the same argument that Trump makes about, like, oh, people touch their masks. They're not wearing the mask properly. Okay, then you solve it by making sure that people know what kind of mask they should wear there's a now, lot look, of sketchy i'm not masks. saying it's not a good idea to wear a mask and maybe it reduces some of the droplets 100%. that go out maybe i'm not a scientist neither are you okay Pervert. first of all joe we know you're not a scientist but secondly if you're not a scientist why the f are you saying things right now that are going against what scientists have been saying but i don't necessarily know if you were in a room filled with people who had covid and you unless you had an n95 mask mm -hmm. unless you have a real mask i don't know if those <laughs> Cloth masks are going to help you. I think they will. Okay, this is when centrism is just actual brain disease. And using this same technique, we can see if masks really do help to stop the spread of coronavirus. It's not okay to be smart. It's not. Because you are destined for a lifetime of misery. Stupid people are much happier than you. Okay? It's a lie that this channel tells you in its name. It says it's okay to be smart. It's not. It's devastating. Well, masks help in two interesting ways. First, it's important to understand that viruses don't float around alone. They fly out in droplets of moisture. Most droplets are heavy enough that they fall within two meters or so. But any person or object within that distance can get bathed in virus. And without a mask, some of those droplets can evaporate into super tiny particles of infection that can float on air currents far from your mouth or nose. And these micro droplets are extremely hard for any mask to filter out. But with a mask on, in the warm humid space between your mouth and the mask, those larger droplets don't have time to evaporate, and they can be captured by common fabrics. And the second way that masks work is that any droplets that do get through now have less momentum. The air currents disperse in eddies and swirls instead of flowing away in streams, which means droplets won't travel as far. A mask can stop a virus, but it also sends a message. We're all in this together. And that's communism! That's what they said too. What kind of Maoist bullshit is this? What kind of Maoist third world is nonsense is this? Joe Rogan told me masks don't work, brother. Screwing around. There's all sorts of weird shit. I like traveled. The protests were a big kick in the virus. That was a giant uptick. Right, of right? course. And there was a lot of people out there with no masks. Not just that. They were just bumper to bumper with each other. Yeah. They were I have friends who literally refuse when I tell them that I was one of those people who assumed that protests would cause gigantic spikes in COVID spreading. Okay. I was one of those people. I was like, of course it's going to be spikes. And, 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 you know, that's the difference between like a legitimate grievance and an illegitimate grievance. Like, I understand why these people are protesting. Police brutality is devastating, blah, blah, blah. Wrong.
there are case studies. There's empirical evidence to show that that's not true. I think this is the most consistently wrong Joe Rogan has ever been on a particular topic. He's wrong all the time. Okay, he's wrong all the time. He's an ape and, and it's whatever. And we always say like, well, he's just an ape, whatever. Cat, give him some slack. I've never seen him so wrong and so consistently. Virtually every single thing he has said on this matter is just completely false. And for the idiots that turn around and say differing opinions equals wrong LA giggle. No, there is such a thing as like factually accurate information versus just completely made up nonsense that makes your fifis feel better okay and not the not the pull of ben shabibo but like facts don't care about your feelings all i'm getting at this by f with you here <laughs> is that in these times where things are oh, very just unsure, memeing. a lot of times people like to say exactly what you need to do and what's happening right. as long as people do this we're okay uh -huh. as long as we wear a mask we're okay as and i'm not sure I'm oh, not sure dude. Oh, dude, because it's not 100% correct. And, and we're not 100% sure. It's also better to increase uncertainty by just pretending. He was just pretending, dude. Just like saying masks are not 100% because people wear them incorrectly. So let's not wear them at all. I'm helping, by the way, a child's brain. Uh, God damn, man.